We're continuing our Crayola Signature Series with a video all about adding texture. So stick around. Hello colorists, welcome to Pencil Stash, a weekly show all about coloring. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to get all the new content, and be sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying my videos. Hey there colorists, welcome back to the final video in our Crayola Signature Series. While we get set up, don't forget about the Crayola.com coupon code PENCILSTASH to save 30% on the signature line of products, plus free shipping when you spend at least $25. Coupon code is good until November 16th, 2018, so get it while it's hot. Today is all about adding texture, utilizing both the blending and shading techniques from previous videos. So today, instead of doing a practice page, we'll be doing this full coloring page from the Crayola Blend and Shade Inspiration Pad workbook. This owl looks very majestic, with his wings spread wide, but to make him look even more realistic, we're going to mimic the look of speckled feathers across his wingspan. First, I'll do a feathered gradient, no pun intended, at the tips of all of his wing feathers, going from brown to light brown, up to light tan. Then I'll use my brown and black pencils to add in a series of curved lines and dots to mimic the speckled appearance of owl feathers. I like to start from the bottom of the feather and then flick my pencil in an upward motion, which gives us a more pigmented bottom where the pencil starts on the paper and then it gets lighter as it moves upward. And with our lines and dots, make sure you're varying the length of those lines, the quantity of the lines, and the location of your dots from one feather to the next. If you're too consistent, too uniform, it'll look very unnatural. And you can mimic that same technique over other areas of his body, like across the crown of his head and his chest. If you're struggling with what textures to use or how to apply them, reference images are a great source of inspiration, especially since there's all types of different owls and other objects that you could be looking up that could spark an idea. Or you could get really creative and make up your own texture. On the tree trunk, I've gone ahead and put down our foundational layer of color, including some highlights along the bottom of the tree, because ultimately this is going to end up being a night scene. So our tree is going to be lit by a very low moon that's going to kind of come and like peek through those trees. So I've sort of uplighted our tree. Um, but again, I think that this tree would benefit from a more textural approach to depict the bark. So I'm taking my black pencil and drawing in a series of lines in various lengths, and I'm trying to match the curvature and the shape of our individual tree branches, since these lines are not all going to be going in the same direction. So use the shape and the curves of the tree branches to your advantage. Just like with our owl, the more varied your lines are, the more natural this will end up looking. And right over top of that texture, you can add in additional shading to really drive home the feeling that this tree is in a real place. Ultimately, this will end up being a night scene, so I'm really honing in on those shadows. For the tree leaves and canopy, we'll go through several layers of color. Light at the tops where the leaves would be less dense, all the way to very dark at the center, where the canopy would be the most dense. And the layering of all my pencil lines and circles will work nicely to visual depict the lines of all of the overlapping leaves in the canopy. Now I'm adding a little bit of baby oil on a cotton swab to blend all of the layers of color that I added into a cohesive texture. Now the trick with baby oil is that you don't want your cotton swab too wet. So if need be, wipe off the excess on a paper towel and then work in circular motions to push around the wax pigment to get the blended look that you're going for. And if you want your light colors to stay light, strategically work around those areas as your darker colors can actually move into those areas and overpower them. And then to finish off our page, remember that moon I told you about earlier? We'll have drawn it in using a template, and then I added in some light gray to simulate the craters. And I've colored the sky a deep black using an alcohol marker to keep the streaking to a minimum. 
And then with a matte white paint pen, I've added in some dots to act as our stars. And that concludes our Crayola Signature Series. And don't forget about that pencil stash coupon code to get 30% off the Crayola Signature line of products and free shipping on orders of $25 or more. Thank you so much to Crayola for partnering with me on the creation of these videos. If you're curious about the Crayola Signature Series of colored pencils, markers, and other products, head over to Crayola.com to learn more. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing to see all the new content. And if you're looking for even more coloring tutorials, most of them in real time, head over to my YouTube channel page to browse the catalog. Thanks to everyone for watching. Have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye.